arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. Creatures are often unpredictable.
protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Members often engage in expeditions in small groups, typically one or two people, or like Barrett and myself, one person and one robot. The membership is intentionally limited and small. Should you join Constellation yourself, you will be the 10th active member. I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. Curious. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Freestar Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility.
I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digi-picks and a disregard for personal property rights. Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Oh, this will be fun. I am programmed for combat. It's not my primary function. Thank you. 
damaged. Starship Frontier, this is United Colony Security. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. No contraband detected. You are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. My crew can take a look at your ship, and you can stop by the Trade Authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. I'm sure you can find something you like. Okay, no problem. I would try to viewport. They'll be on your left once you get into the plaza. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me.
unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will... We'll get you settled into your new assignments as soon as possible. For you, Bobby, that includes meeting your new foster parent. My parents aren't dead. They just took a different shuttle. I'll see you in the game. Oh! You will be scanned as you enter the city. Please keep moving. This is New Atlantis Transit, or The Net. It provides free transportation throughout the city. We can take it directly to the Mast District. relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. We just need to convince her that President Abeo isn't the same as her predecessors, and that an adversarial UC is a thing of the past. should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Ridiculous. He's just 
bet I'll ever win. You really think what I'm suggesting is so outlandish? All the phenomena we see out in the stars, and what I'm saying is the most impossible theory? I'm banning wages. I'm serious. We'll play nice. Just a little friendly conversation, Sarah. That's all. We appear to have a visitor. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? Hmm. Very well. This is a private organization dedicated to exploration. Space primarily, but also anomalies throughout the settled systems. It's inherently dangerous work, so if one of our own doesn't show up as planned, then we tend to have questions. Speaking of which, where is Barrett? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been... factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. She's here, with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. Not the country. You expect us to be the fairy. If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right. Let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. Just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves Easy, that. girl. Breathe. You'll have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, that means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well... If we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal, another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building, well, you'll be part of solving that puzzle now. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon.
Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here. I think you've earned something for bringing the artifacts to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability? Hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. Bye for now. I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as possible and be aware of possible negative effects. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Planning on sticking around then? Good! I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. My wife and I have Walter's quite here. proud of the collection, I'm but Matteo has made here, more I'm than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors before. there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, my wife at least usually. Let's head upstairs. If I can dedicate my Sebastian Banks, Constellations team. founder, had this place built For both decade. our sakes. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I am at your service, Captain. So this is the bar, usually no tender, so help yourself, within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Okay, this'll be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy!
I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Hope you've got your head in the ready, Walter. Never ends, does it? Dare I ask? Feel free what to I help yourself now? at the bar. I don't drink, isn't free, but I'm I feel afraid. like if I did, this artifact now would be a good time for one. Busy. Are you doing Sometimes okay? You I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Matteo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. The second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but... You know, if the label fits... That sure lines up with everything else about these artifacts. It's all connected. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We just need more data. Which means, more artifacts. Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So, I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. Take care of yourself. Sarah is the best possible person to be running Constellation in a time like this. Focused, no nonsense, and dedicated. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. I am sorry I besmirched your chosen profession and made assumptions about your character. My frustrations lie more with Barrett, not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and off times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? Well, clearly the sarcasm center of your brain is intact. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, 
This is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covered them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan, or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder. Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now I call the Lodge home as much as anywhere else. Goodbye. So, Mateo, swiped any new religious texts? Ha ha. I don't have much time for that kind of thing anymore. So much to do around here, you know? I wasn't born yesterday, you know. I as much as I love uncovering new questions, so I wouldn't mind a few if answers you must now and then. There's rumors of an it's been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the I full time. I was following up on. <laughs> I knew it. Well, best of luck. Of course. There's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Oh right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input, your brain's attempt to make sense of something, an energy surge, some other phenomenon. There might be a reasonable explanation. I wasn't there. I didn't see what you saw. I'm just not in a position to say for sure. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Oh, gosh, no, I mean, that's, that's flattering, but really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two, and the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know, and that means a lot of work ahead of us. Well, right now, nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition, I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're going to be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands.
there's a galaxy chock full of resources. The more data I have, the more thorough an analysis I can do. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Okay, let's take a look. Stay safe, okay? Something you need? I am at your service, Captain. Sergeant Yumi is looking for reliable people to help a guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. Not sure if those Varun zealots live in space or got separated from their home planet or what, but they scavenge what they need. Lots of old facilities left over from the colony war. They like to pick them 